let's go straight into the word of God. Hallelujah. Psalms 118. 14 through 29. Let me give you my subject first. Declaring the works of the Lord. Declaring the works of the Lord. Come on, Sister Mitchell. Psalm 118. 14 through 29. The Lord is my strength and song and is become my salvation. Uh -huh. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord do it valiantly. Yes. I shall not die. I shall not die. But live. But live. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need y'all to repeat that after her. Say that verse again. I shall not die. I shall, I shall not die, but live, but live, declare and declare the works of the Lord. The works of the Lord. Go ahead. Oh yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. The Lord had chastened me sore. Yes. But He had not given me over unto death. Unto yeah. death. Not given Open me over. Open to me the gates of righteousness. Yes. I will go into them, yeah. and uh -huh. I will praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This gate of the Lord, yes. into which the righteous shall enter, uh -huh. I will praise thee, yeah. yes. for thou hast heard me, yeah. and art become my salvation. My the stone which the builder fused yes. Yes. has become the headstone, the headstone. of the corner. Yeah. This it's doing. This is the Lord's doing. And it is Come on, y'all. It is marvelous. In our eyes. In our eyes. This is the day. This is the day. Which the Lord hath made. Yes. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Let's say amen to the reading of the word. Amen. You may be seated. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hey. Hey. I shall not die, brother, but I shall live. The clear declare that thing. Glory, glory, glory. Declare the works of the Lord. Declare. Declare. Declare means to make known a state clearly. To let it be known the works of the God. What God is doing for you, what he has done for you. A lot of times people don't know what God has done for you unless you let it be known. Uh, you got to be able to declare the works of God. God wants us to let people know the works that we're doing. God knows our works, but he wants us to declare his works. He showed miracles in the Bible. And they couldn't keep it to themselves. When Jesus even told them not to go tell. But they had to go tell somebody else. Declare the works of God. And you know, we think about that. It can go a whole lot of ways. And I know sometimes you might get discouraged. I know sometimes you might say, I give up. But just think about the goodness of Jesus. And all that he has done for you. I guarantee you, your good days. Will I weigh your bad days? I guarantee you that if you just look at God, how he has brought you out, out of darkness, out of sin, out of shame, how he healed you, how he delivered you, how he has set you free, declare the works of the Lord. We need to start declaring the works of God. Glory, glory, glory. A lot of times you don't fit in. Jesus didn't even fit in. See, Jesus had to go out because his own sister Robinson didn't even, accept, didn't even accept him. He had to go out. A lot of time when you're in this work 
And in this type of life, living this life, people will not accept you, Sister Mitchell. They will just, if you don't fit in, see, there's something wrong when you say you are a man or woman of God, but you can fit right on in with the world. You're not supposed to be fitting in with the world. The world should be coming to you to get delivered and set free. That's what it's supposed to be. And men should be able to see your works. The works that you, if you decline and you decree that you save, they should be able to see your works. They should be able to see the work of God in you. What God can do through you. They shouldn't be able to see a uh, 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 hell that's, that you're bringing out being hellish and, and mean and, and honorary and, and, and backbiting and whatever else you want to do. The world shouldn't be able to see that. The world shouldn't be able to be confused when they come to church and then they see you up singing and praising God and then the poor people and they go, what's going on? Because we were just in the club last night together. Declare the works of God. We should be, we are supposed to be different. We're supposed to be peculiar. Nowadays, they don't want the, the, the people that say, that. that's why I say, I, I just don't say I'm a Christian, but I say I'm a saint. I say I'm saved, sanctified, filled with the precious Holy Ghost. And Father, because there's a difference. Because there, a lot of people say they saints and not saints, but Christians, they're not Christians. Because if they were Christians, they would be like Christ-like. But God wants us to live right. He wants us to see there. And, and let me tell you something. Can, can I tell y'all, give y'all a quick testimony? Let, let me give you a quick testimony. When things seem to be going bad or be going wrong, or you just don't understand some situation. And then you say, Lord, uh, uh, have you forgotten about me? Brother Jones, you, you, you get to wondering. You get to scratching your head. You go, Lord, where have I went wrong? What's going on, Lord? I need you now as never before. And sometimes if you're not careful, if you don't be careful, you will slip. Oh, yeah, 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 you will slip. Because a lot of time the flesh will get in the way. And you will say, what's the use? What's the use? Why am I doing, why am I living this life? It don't seem like it's paying off. It, it don't seem like it's doing nothing, but the other song they say, serving the Lord will pay off after a while. Will pay off. You just got to hold on. You got to hang in there. Hang on in there. Hang on in there. See, we are going to be tried. Tried. We're going to be tested. We're going to be, we're going to go through some things, beloved. We're going to go through. Don't think it's strange. Don't be so quick to give up. Don't be so quick to throw up your hands and say, I'm gone. Don't be so quick. Go through the fire. Go through it. And on this week, I was so despondent. I was discouraged. A lot of people didn't know it because I don't like telling my business. I don't get on Facebook and, and send out subliminal message. God going to get y'all for that once and do that. Like people slow and don't know you talking about them. You're going to get in trouble. Especially if it's against the leaders. You're going to get in trouble. All on there. But do you know? People ain't crazy. Do you know God give the discernment to the leaders? God give the discernment and you all on there talking about the leaders. Anybody know? Well, I had this. You better stop it. Because God going to get you. As the, as, the, as the saints of old, not saints of old, but the older folks used to say, fat meat is greasy. When you get in trouble, they used to say, fat meat is greasy. You going to get it. So I don't get on all that and, and get to blabbing my mouth and all that. See, a lot of times we need to go to God in prayer. We need to go to God in prayer. Because sometimes people don't need to know your business all the time. Because they're taking, you might not even mean no harm. Sometimes you might not mean no harm, but they'll take it and run with it. What's going on over there? What's going on with Sister McCullough? What's going on with Brother John? What's really going on? And you know some people start coming just to be nosy. What's really going on over there? 
But I'm going to tell you, ain't nothing going on but the praises of God. Uh, Sometimes you would get discouraged, Sister Robinson. All the praying we do at 5 o'clock in the morning. The praying you do in between time. The praying you do at night. These things still hit you. You will go, my God, what am I doing, God? God said, nothing. You're just serving me. Because if you don't be trying, how is it that you can tell anybody else? How is it that you can help somebody else? How is it? Because you got to go through in order to be able to tell and help somebody. You got to go through. Because somebody's out there needing your help. Need to hear the testimony. God can deliver you from sin. God can deliver you from being an addict. God can deliver you from being whatever. They need to hear this. God delivered me from when the pastor say anybody got a testimony, they sitting there. All of us got a testimony. We got a testimony. I know three or four of them in here. I told the pastor, I said, the sudden you get up, you need to ask for some testimony. Because there's too much going on that God has done Amen. that the people need to hear. Decline the works of the Lord. They need to hear how God has delivered you. They need to hear how God has promoted you. They need to hear how God has kept your mind. They need to hear it because somebody's on the brink of committing suicide. But they need to hear that God will deliver your mind. Suicide is ramping up upon the land. But I tell you that God will keep your mind if you keep it on him, stay it on him. No matter what, the, it's nothing too hard for God. And so, I, I, I was kind of despondent about some things that was going on in my life from health on and, and spiritual. And, and I was just like I told my husband, I said, you know, I was talking to him. I said, I just don't understand. I don't understand. You give it all. I don't understand. But he told me, he said, we just going to make it. We're going to make it. Yeah. I had, we hadn't talked to nobody. We hadn't said nothing to nobody. Because sometimes leaders can't, because people don't understand, Sister Robin, you can't go to everybody because their visions ain't like yours. You, especially leaders, you can't do it. Everybody got their own opinion. Well, if it was me, well, that's why the church would be told up, because if it was you, you need to go to God in prayer. But let me tell you, when I was speaking on, on, on Wednesday night, when God goes silent, God being silent. And see, I wasn't getting no answer, sister. I was like, what's going on? What's happening? Uh, uh, things started hitting at the house. Uh, bills. and I'm like, what's really happening? Now, God, you didn't bring us this far. You didn't put us out here for this. What's really going on? Lord, I need you now. It's never before. But, oh, God had a ram in the bush. Somebody don't know nothing about us. Never heard, didn't even know the young man. Called my son and said, I got to talk to your mother. I got to talk to her. God told me to tell her something. I need, to, I need to put this word into her. Do you not know we need encouragement too? Everybody this morning, we trying to help you. And then when it come our time, don't nobody, they be like, well, I thought you were strong. Like, yeah, but I'm a human. We need help too. We need prayer too. I'm not immortal. We need it too. I don't, I don't believe in pity parties, but we need it too. And the young man, I told, the young man got the prophesy. And so I, I said, son, did you say something to the young man? He said, mama, no, I ain't talked to this man in, in years. Hadn't talked to him in years. And he got the prophesying about my knees. Got the prophesying about me walking. Got the prophesying about the church. He told me don't be discouraged because God wants to add souls to the church. Just to bring in people with money. He got the prophesying. He got to tell them about how God gonna do. How we were gonna have room enough for the people. He just got the prophesying. Well, I couldn't get up at that time and jump around, but I stopped praising God. Because he let me know that God heard me. He 
he was silent, sister. He was silent. He didn't tell me. But he let me know through somebody else, like I had said on Wednesday night. He, he will send somebody to let you know, I haven't forgotten you. I'm here for you. No matter how the situation seems, I'm here for you. A lot of times you, 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 you say, Lord, I don't know, but I don't know if I can take this. I don't know about this. And it's a little thing that come on I don't, <laughs> that I don't know who is by or whatever, but it's an understanding the assignment. Understanding the assignment, what it's about or whatever, but that does, I just know that understanding the assignment. And a lot of times people don't, don't understand the things that God has assigned them to. Yeah, they don't want understand it. Now, she might mean it another way, but I look, see, you can, you can always look at some gospel way. But I look at when God assigned you to something, you might not understand it. But after a while, you're going to understand the assignment. God has put us in different places. God has positioned us in different places, different ones. He has blessed different ones of us to do things. And yes, yeah, sometimes you might get discouraged. You might say it's not good. But keep on working. Keep on working. Keep doing what God has assigned you to do. And watch God work. Because one thing about it, whose report you're going to believe? Are you going to believe man's report? Man will curse you and doom you. Man have said these doors will be closed. But God said not so. See, you got to be careful of listening because it's easy to listen. And when you listen, then when you listen, it get in the spirit. When it get in the spirit, then it get in your heart. Then you be going, what's the use? But God is in control of every situation. Don't give up. Do the works of the Lord. Let it be known when God is telling you to work. Work for the Lord. Then go and tell the people the goodness of Jesus, what he has done for you. Let them know that God is yet working. Yet yeah, let them know God is yet on the throne. I'm almost through. Whatever you do, work heartily. As for the Lord and not for men. Knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. That's what we got to do. We got to work. Not for men, because man will discourage you all the time. I'll be looking at how people come on people's lives just, just, just being uh, ugly. Being on people, that, for no reason, just ugly. Man will be ugly to you. You don't even have to know him. You don't have to be undid anything to him. They just ugly. I don't like the way you look. You so ugly. You so fat. What's wrong with you? Let me tell you something. Y'all stop running around asking folks. What, you know what irritates me? People, if you don't have nothing good to say when you see people, stop. Stop. Woo, Susan McCullough, you done got so fat. Do you know what Susan McCullough going through? Do you know what kind of medication is making her fat? Do you know she on steroids? But they can show, woo, what's going on over there? Ooh, they getting fat over there. Is anybody fasting? Is anybody going through over there? They, should, they need to push the plate back. How you know ain't nobody pushing no place back? I wish they would. You don't know what's going on. And the first thing they see you, they ain't see you, <laughs> Sister Eva, in months and years. And the first they go, oh, you done put on a little weight. What, what's wrong with you? You bigger than me. But you can show say I'm putting on weight. Quit it. Stop it. Because you never know how that mess with somebody, man. I said that, said that because you have bullies all the way around. Bullying people in the church, out of the church. What you say? Like the young lady. She was beautiful as could be. But she was being bullied, so she couldn't take it. So she committed suicide. God is going to get these people. Yeah. The blood is on your hand. Oh, yeah, it's on your hand. You don't know how people's state of mind is. My mama used to say, if you ain't got nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. Because you don't know how, what might push a person over. You might, think, you might be able to take it, but somebody else might not be able to take it. So you going around up there kiki and he he and ha ha, and this person in depression. So what they feel like, they feel like all they can do is in their lives. God going to get you. 
Y'all better stop that. Because everybody's not strong. That's why he told us burn the infirmity of the weak. We that are strong, we are to hold them up. Don't put your foot on their necks. Don't sit up and talk about them. But help them. Help them and then tell them what God can do. Tell the works of God. Tell them how God is a good God, how God can keep your mind. Tell them. Somebody that I've been through with some might not and some have. Some been on the brink of just, just letting go and just probably running to walls, whatever. But God. But God. Because of that peace. He gave you peace of mind. That peace. He'll make everything seem like ain't nothing wrong. When the doctor give you the report, Sister Robinson, the word just said, I should not die, but live. That's right. And declare the works of God. See, a lot of times people want to count you out. They want to count you out. They say, ooh, they, 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 ooh that's death. That's death. Well, don't tell them. Pray for them. I've seen God raise them from the dead. Oh, I've seen them. I've seen the works of God. A lot of times we just write people off. But God can do anything. Nothing is impossible for God. The impossible is for men. But nothing is impossible for God. He will raise the dead. He will heal the sick. And you need to start saying to yourself, I shall live and not die. I'm not going nowhere until it's my time. And that was one of the things that the young man prophesied to me. He said, you should live and not die. Well, yeah, 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 I've been saying, oh, I don't know how long it's going to be. I don't know. He, he, he said, and the Lord said, he didn't say, I said, he said, and the Lord said, you should live and not die. And I remember my daddy told me the same thing. He said, you should live and not die. He said, matter of fact, I'm going to pray longevity on you. Didn't he not? Right there on the parking lot. I'm going to pray long life on you before he departed this earth. So when the devil comes against me, I hear the word of the Lord say, you shall not die, but you shall live. We need to start declaring and speaking positive. Even when the situation seems like it's impossible. Not Impossible for God. Nothing is too impossible for Him. Start speaking life in your life. No matter what the situation is, there is life, there is hope. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing is impossible. In God, His mercy endureth forever. He loves us so. The psalmist let us know the praises of God, the mercy of God. God's mercy is upon us. His mercy endureth forever. Everything, do, his mercy. This is why we're here, because of his mercy. Well, we don't even act like we care about God because, but his mercy endureth forever. He loves us so. Sister, even when we sit up, even when it seems like man don't care about God, but God care about man. But God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believe in him shall not in life. God sent his only son. He gave his only son that we may live, that we may have a right to the tree of life. Hallelujah. Declaring the works of the Lord. If you don't get anything else out of this message, remember Psalms 118. Declaring the works of God. Let them be know what God is doing in your life. Let them know that God is yet alive. When man say he is dead, God is yet alive. God is yet working. God is yet working miracles. He is a miracle worker. I say he's a miracle worker. Oh yeah, you're looking at a miracle. He's a miracle worker. I don't have time to tell it all, but he done so much. He healed my body so much. I've been through so much with my body. But I tell you what, God, one thing, I know God is a healer. He have healed me, and he's still healing me. He's still a healer. And I declare today 
that I shall live and not die. No matter how the situation looks, no matter what the reports say, no matter what the doctors say, I shall live and not die. You should say that to yourself. I shall live and not die. When the pain's rocking in your body, I shall live and not die. When you going through, speak life to your situation. Speak life into your own situation. No matter what it is. Glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. We just thank God for his goodness and his mercy. We just thank God because he's been so loving and kind. I tell you, God is an awesome God. I like that song, God is an awesome God. He's awesome. When we can't see our way through and we don't know what to do, God will bring us through. God will teach us. He's a teacher. He's a God. He'll help us through it all. Let us not keep our testimony to ourselves. But tell somebody of the goodness of God. Tell somebody that God is yet healing. God is yet financing business. God is yet keeping you and giving raises. Oh, yeah, you ain't got to tell how much. It ain't nobody business. Ain't nobody business. But tell them how God stepped in when you're supposed to have an education, a degree, and you're getting degree money. When God has lifted you up over others that has degrees and you getting that degree money. Oh, I've seen it done. I've seen them do it. I've seen them. I've seen them elevate. Elevation coming. It's coming. And tell somebody. Don't let them say you're bragging. All right, then God bless me. You, you pray for me. Because sometimes there's people that want to go and do, but if they can't hear it can be done, they won't do it. They'll stop. But if somebody sitting they say, the Lord can do it for her, for him, I know he can do it for me. I know he can do it for me. God is not a, has respect a person. He's not going to bless you and don't bless me. He'll bless us all. Spiritual. Natural, yeah. however you ask him to bless you. He'll, and I'm going to tell you, he will even give you unexpected blessings. He'll give you blessings that you didn't even know was coming, that you didn't even think you deserved, that you know you didn't deserve. But because of your goodness, your faithfulness to him, God will give you extra. And somebody said, double for your trouble. Don't, don't ever think living this life you ain't going to get rewarded. Don't ever think that. Because in the world, you get rewarded for just a moment. But when you, when you serve God and go through, you get rewarded for a lifetime. I trade a lifetime. Hey, you sing that song, just for one day yeah. in paradise. Yeah. I go back and say I trade a lifetime forever in paradise. Because I don't want just one day. If I get there, I want to stay. Because I don't work too hard. I don't went through too much to just serve him, just enjoy paradise for one day. I want a lifetime. I want what's promised to me, God's promises. I want it. Hallelujah. Put your hands together. Let's bless the Lord. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. God is good. And I thank God, and I hope I've said something to help the people of God, to help people